Hi team, I just uh, wanted to take a minute to introduce you to your new sales funnel dashboard and processes that we're putting in place for Costa Rica to help you track and manage all the wonderful people that are going to be coming through. Um, hopefully this will make things nice and easy for you and you won't have that feeling of who's where and have we lost track of anyone. So there's a couple of different things we have on your dashboard. Uh, the first one on the left is the sales funnel. So this is everything that's happening to somebody prior to them purchasing. Um, ideally they're going to move from this list to the right um, to the program details list which is going to be everybody who's actually purchased and then the things that we need to do uh, between now and actually getting them to Costa Rica. So starting on the left, we have the indicated interest, which we've actually gone past this at this point, but this is also um, an example of how we will do things in the future, so every step is in place. In the beginning, initially, somebody's going to opt in for, yeah, I think I'm interested in that. So those people would be here. We'll then send them to the application, either through an email or actually through a thank you page our sales page uh, so that if they submit that the person would then move from indicated interest to submitted application so as you can see we have actually 14 people who are sitting in the pending applications area and we need to move them from submitted application to either approved or denied so the way that you're going to do that is to click on this number 14 so you can actually see the list and I'm going to cheat a little bit I have it over here on another tab because it takes a little while to open now you can see the 14 people and you can see all their answers we put them right into the uh, list view so that it would be nice and easy to look at them um, from here what you want to do is review their answers uh, you can click on the name and actually go into the person's record and see the answers if you click over here on this coaching tab and here's all the answers in their individual boxes uh, it's not necessary to actually come in here and look at it this way it's just you know personal preference whichever you feel more comfortable with in here you have these little little lines in the corner meaning that you can pull you can pull the box open and make it bigger if you need more space to see it. Uh, I'm going to go back out to the list view. I personally like the list view better because it's just less steps but it's really like I said up to you what you're comfortable with. From the list view um, if you are looking at a response, a particular response that looks like uh, there's more than you can see and you can usually tell because it'll have a little dot 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 at the end of it you can always use the pencil when you're holding your mouse over it you'll see a little pencil and by clicking on the pencil it'll open up the bigger box that shows you the whole thing which I will show you, here we go so see right here, here's one with the dot 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 here's one with that, so if I click on the pencil it's going to open it up as if you're going to edit it, uh, but it will let you see the whole thing. Click. Well. It's late at night, and sometimes with the updates that happen at night, it can make things a little slow. So I am clicking on it, it's just not popping open. There it goes. Um, so right here you have those little lines in the corner, which means that you can drag it to open the box and make it a little bit bigger. So you can see the full answer. So now I can see beyond the able to is the rest of it. And I'm just going to hit cancel so that I don't change that person's answer. So once you've reviewed it all and you've decided whether or not you want to approve or deny this person, you're going to click right here where it's a little notepad, a little piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to click on that. 
and there's a button right here that says add note. I click on add note and now I can choose from the templates which note I want to apply. So we've tried to um, make these line up kind of the way that you would want to use them. So the very first thing that you have to do is approve or deny somebody so those have a number one next to them. And the next thing that, you know, once it's been approved or denied, we're hoping that they're going to, to schedule an interview. So the next thing that you would have to do would be apply attend an interview show. So you see those come up right underneath approved denied as number two and then three and then four. So working with the one we have right now, we're going to do either application approved or application denied. If I choose approved, you can see it starts to fill it in for, for me. But I can still come in here and add more notes if I need to. Um, you can also see right here where it says one action. You don't really ever have to do anything with this, but the value of using notes is that while you're putting in your note about what actually happens, we have actions attached to that note that will do all the rest of the work for you. So they're going to apply tags, they're going to remove tags. If we were doing like upsell offers, it could run credit cards for you. There's just all kinds of stuff that the actions can do behind the scenes so that you don't have to do all the work yourself. Really, all you have to do is choose the right note so that the actions you would normally have performed manually get done automatically. So I'm going to just take away all this junk I typed right here. And then I would hit save. Now, this is an actual person, so I'm not going to really hit save. Um, but then that's what you would do. You would either choose approve or deny and then hit save. Uh, if you go back to your dashboard then what would happen to this person is they're no longer part of the 14th so this will change 13 and assuming you put them in approved this would then change to a 1. Or if you put them in denied they'd be down here as a 1. Once that person's been approved where uh, one of those actions that's going to happen in the background is that email is going to go to them, letting them know that they've been approved, and please schedule an appointment. The appointment tool is connected with Infusionsoft, so as soon as they make that appointment and it gets booked on your calendar, we're going to know about it, and that's actually going to move them from application approved to scheduled appointment. When you see that pop up on your calendar, you're definitely going to want to come over here, check on the scheduled appointments, click on the zero or the one, whichever the case would be, and make sure that you're the owner. So I am not, I do not have one set up at the moment as a test. I really should have put a test in here. Um, one of the fields that, uh, let's see, if I go to scheduled appointments, there's not, I don't think there's going to be anybody in it, so you're not going to be able to see it. But where you can see all of the, um, when you're on the application, pending application, um, you can see all their answers. When you go to scheduled appointments, you're going to see the appointment details and who the owner is. So, Every time you come to look at the list, it's only going to show you the things that you need to know for that particular step. On this um, scheduled appointments, you want to look for who the owner is. If it's on your calendar, you want to make sure that you're the owner. If you're not the owner, it's really easy to change. You just click the pencil and choose your name from the list. Make sure you hit save. That way, all the future emails that go out to the customer are actually coming from you rather than the generic team or Rika or whatever customer support, whatever it is that we're using. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Oops, back to the dashboard. It's all pretty straightforward. You're just moving people from one box to the next. And when you apply those notes, that's going to drive them through that. And when they do things themselves, it drives them through there. So if somebody fills out a form, they move to the next box. If they make a payment, they move to the next box. And they keep moving until we get them over into the uh, where program members or they go into stalled or denied. So 
may be that um, we talk to them at the appointment and they're just a no or they're going to be waitlisted. You're going to apply the appropriate note for that and that's going to move them into these boxes. Program members over here on the right is actually people who have paid and signed their contract. Um, then going forward we're going to have some things that we need to do. Those will be showing up here too. So if we haven't heard from everybody about the dietary restrictions, that number of people will be here so that we can get that and get them off the list. I'm going to go back over here. Um, let's just pick up um, Let's just pick up submitted application again because there is a lot of people in this one. All of the um, the notes all get applied the same way. So you just hit the note area here, and then we've already taken a look at the note for approved note for denied basically is the same. One says yes, they're in. The other one says no, they're not. Um, for the interview attended note, you can see we put input appointment notes here. So you can go ahead and just highlight over that and type in anything that you want to say about this. So with the case of um, um, interview, we want to know is it a yes, is it a no, is it a maybe, are they a wait list? And so you may want to put in your reasons why you decided one way or the other. So you definitely you want to apply the note attended and then choose, like let's say we choose waitlist. Okay, so it's going to say waitlisted after interview. Put your note in here about why you decided to put them on the waitlist. Uh, it doesn't have to be a long note, but it's a good idea to just put it here so that in case, you know, two weeks from now you take a vacation and this person calls up we have the history of what happened and anybody else can handle it for you. I think that about covers how you're going to apply notes, how you're going to move people from one space to the next and hopefully all of this will make everything much much easier for you.